Uh, what are your duties? What are the duties of the organization you lead? Yeah, very, very good. I usually always try to explain to people our shop has been given a tremendous amount of responsibilities over the years. The legislature may have some aspect of some some issue or some program that was in one agency and they didn't like how it was being dealt with. So you look around and go, where can we move it to? A lot of times in the building, people go, huh. Let's get the controller to do that job. So, but if you look at our core constitutional duties, I mean, really there's three of them. The day before our legislative session, which we all know that the Texas legislature comes into their legislative sessions in odd years. So the second Tuesday of January per the constitution. So the second Monday of January, one of the biggest and most folk focused areas from the attention span of, of the legislature as well as the press and the public is the biennial revenue estimate. So what is the economy going to do? The legislature, as you know, has two principal constraints. One, the spending limit per the Constitution as in the last budget plus population inflation and personal income growth, that number for the next biennium. And then secondly, what is the amount of revenues coming into the state? And so therefore, secondly, as our constitutional duties as the tax collector, so we essentially collect about 60 taxes throughout the state of Texas, obviously the sales tax being the biggest one as well as the margins tax, severance taxes, and a variety of others. But besides the tax collection, then also we run essentially the central nervous system for state government as in the funny, the fiscal side of it. So each agency that, that has an appropriation and they put in whether who is on the payroll, we issue the check. So we issue 12 million payments a year through the treasury. And then also having, as I said, the fiscal side of it that does all the accounting for the state of Texas and putting together our annual CAFR report and many other reports. So that those are our three basic areas. But the fact is, is uh, I was telling somebody the other day, you know, I, the one I love to talk about at times is in off the wall things we do is this was given to us about 20 years ago. And if you walk into any convenience store, you walk into a grocery store, you walk in somewhere where they sell uh, tobacco that last year after session, my staff came in and said, we need you, to, need you to pick one of these posters. And it all had to do with tobacco sales. And because the legislature last session passed a bill that essentially says that if you're under 18, you can't buy the e-cigarettes. And so we had to redo our signs. And what I didn't know, is I didn't know I, I approved the signs. So every time I walk into one of those facilities, there's that sign that says, kick them. And I'll, most of y'all are too young, is the old Karate Kid movie, essentially, is what it was. We're gonna kick, kick uh, cigarette smoking, and I just can't help but laugh. What do I have anything to do with that? So you'd be kind was, of a graphic design consultant. Hey, yeah, well, that's what we got comms division for. But you know, my point being, besides the revenue estimating, the tax collection, and the fiscal treasury side, there's a whole host of other things that we've been given over time.